Welcome! In this series of videos, I'm going to teach you how to use Google AdWords to grow your business. I'm Ryan Masters, a certified Google partner from Squeeze Juice Marketing. And before we get into all that, make sure you click the link below to download your copy of the AdWords Campaign Quick Start Kit. This is a bunch of checklists and templates that you can use to make sure you're not making costly mistakes inside AdWords that I see clients do over and over again. In this series of videos, we're going to talk about how to use AdWords to grow your business. Now a lot of people just want to jump right in and start turning dials and that's not what we're going to do. We're going to take a step back and get a strategic overview real, really quick so that you don't make costly mistakes inside of AdWords. Now I've been managing AdWords campaigns for over six years starting with the family furniture company we had that was near bankruptcy. Thankfully with AdWords was able to turn that company around and actually sold it in 2013 and I've been managing accounts as well for other clients with these types of results that you're seeing here. So that's not to brag or anything, it's just to let you know that I've been in the trenches spending my own money with Google AdWords. I made it work, made a lot of mistakes, but I learned from that and now I'm helping clients day in and day out continually grow their campaigns and accounts. So for you, the first thing before we even log into AdWords, there are a couple things we need to take care of. First, the way you are successful with AdWords is you deliver the right message to the right person at the right time. And AdWords allows us to do just that. Now time doesn't necessarily mean like time of day. It could be time in terms of where they are in your buying cycle. You know, are they really far up and they've never heard of your company before and they're just now starting to research uh, some different problems? Or do they know who you are and they're searching for your brand? They're, obviously those two different searches are going to require different ads and different messages because that person is at a different time in terms of your business. So we're always keeping that in the back of our mind. The other thing with AdWords is there are two things you are learning if you're doing AdWords yourself. And it's just like driving a car, okay? When you're driving a car, you have to learn how to operate the car. You know, you do the steering wheel, if it was manual, you gotta know how to do stick shift. Um, AdWords is like a super crazy car on steroids with thousands and thousands of buttons and lights and you just want to press and all that. And it's good to learn that, but if you learn how to operate that car as far as the mechanics, but you don't know how to drive, you're still going to crash. You know, if you don't know the rules of the road or, or stop at stoplights, you're still going to crash no matter how good you are at driving the car. And the reason I say that is a lot of Again, clients that I do coaching for, they'll come to me and they know AdWords pretty well and because that's what they've been learning, but they're missing the marketing piece. Like knowing marketing, which is the right message to the right person at the right time and tracking those results, that's the secret sauce to really making AdWords work. So there are two forces or two things that we're learning here and I just wanna make you aware of those as you go through this series of videos. All right, so before you go logging into AdWords, you need to answer three questions, and these are available inside the AdWords Campaign Quick Start Kit that you can download below. But let's go over them, go over them now. The first one is, what is your conversion goal? You know, what is the action that you want them to take? This is called, AdWords is called direct response marketing because we get to measure what people are doing and in order to do that, we need to know what do we want them to do. So if you're a service-based business, so you probably want them to call or fill out a web form because that then becomes a lead that you turn into a customer. If you're an e-commerce company, then obviously the goal is you want them to, or most likely the goal is you want them to complete an order or place a checkout. And so we need to have that goal in mind because that is what we're driving the traffic to do and that's what we're gonna be measuring the whole campaign uh, through. If you don't have that in place, if we're just sending traffic all over the website, totally wasting money, ineffective, and not what we want to do. So the second question is, who is our target, right? Who is your target customer? Who are you going after? So who do you want to complete that goal or who wants to complete that goal? When you know that, that's going to help us choose the right message because we need, we, we've now got the right person. And the third one is, what are their three biggest fears, pains, or desires as it relates to that conversion goal or your product or service. Um, we want to know these because this is how we're going to speak to speak to them not only on the ad copy but on the landing page so that we have a message, right, right message that resonates with them and say yes this is my pain, this is a problem that I want to solve. So those three questions we need answered and written down before you log into AdWords and start tweaking um, any, of the, any of the dials in there. Get those down and then we can go into the next video.